mini edition. All right, guys, we're doing an unboxing today. Pick something up on Amazon. And here we have the N8 smart charger for all your AA and AAA rechargeable battery needs. These work amazing for Mini Z cars and also the controllers and anything else that you plan on using that's AA or AAA. This specific model does eight batteries. These are all done independently, so that way they'll all charge to their peak and it won't matter on how far they are down their discharge rate. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it on out. It's made from ISDT. And here you can see really nice boxing. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, inside you have your instructions. They have three different types. So for the N-Series, they have the eight, the 16, and the 24. And that is basically how many batteries that it will do. So this is letting you know, uh, thank you for purchasing the smart charger. The Series N is an integrated battery charger that is capable with multiple types of AA, AAA size cylinder batteries. Each channel works independently with each other, which means that different types and different sizes of batteries can be charged at the same time. For safety and for a better user experience, please read the manual in detail. Never attempt to charge a damaged battery or non-rechargeable battery. Keep the charger away from humidity, high temperatures while it's working and ensure that the charger is not covered in any way, which may prevent ventilation requirements for cooling. Do not let young children operate the charger. Make sure that the charging and discharging parameter settings are suitable for the battery being charged and incorrect settings could lead to damage of your battery and your charger or even a fire. And here we have some 3M rubber stickers. And as you can see, the lower ones are gonna be doing your triple A's as the top ones will do your double A's. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Here you can see, got a nice piano finish. This is the N8. Here is your charger port. Here is the back side. And like I said, this is the N8 model. The input on here is DC 5 to 12 volt to amp. The output voltage is 0.2 volts to 5 volts. The max output current is 1.5 amps per slot. And you can see all the different types of batteries that it will charge with. All right, so here we have a very nice LCD screen and these will be your menu buttons. And inside the rest of the box is going to be your USB cord. So you will need some type of charging brick. Um, you know, if you have iPhones, you know you probably have a couple of those little white square uh, USB 120 outlets uh, that you can use. But here's gonna be the cord that plugs into your battery charger. So the only thing that you will need to buy is a USB to your wall outlet. So here you can see it just plugs in right here. As we said, here's our USB upgrade port, which is a type C input. You have your touch keypad right here, your LCD screen. This is gonna be your indicator lights along the top right here. They'll go from like a orange to a green when they're done. And then here's your battery slots. And then you also have your DC input which will be on your N16 and N24, which will be right over here. Um, so that's everything you need to know on the charger itself. And then you're gonna see right here, this is gonna be your specs. And it's gonna give you some operation instructions. And uh, this is basically what the screen's gonna be looking like. 
and this will let you know everything that you need to know about charging your batteries. Overall, here's your manual. The other side is in Chinese. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in. You can check it out. All right, so here you can see this is just a standard iPhone charging brick. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and then we'll plug in our USB cord. All right, and you're gonna hear it power on and here is your display screen. So we're gonna go ahead and install some PM900 batteries and we'll just put these in the RAM slot. So it's gonna go into the lower section. And here you can see it pops up the information that you're gonna need. And you can see it's popping up every single battery separately. Okay, so here you can see on battery number four, and this is gonna show you how full it is, 94%, 92, 88, and then this one is at 92%, and you can scroll up by tapping this little LED light right here. And this is gonna show you battery number three, 89%, 93% right here on battery number two, number one, 95%, and here you can see a nice little graph. Here's your charging information and all your information on the battery itself. So like I said, it's all independently. So here you can see it's gonna do eight batteries. These will turn green once they are completely charged. And here you can see your empty slot, so you can run some double A's as you're charging your triple A's as well. Uh, so like I said, this is a really excellent, very nice looking battery charger by SDT, the N-Series. Just want to show you a quick little demonstration on um, the LED as these turn to green once they're at 100%. Uh, in the short time that I've been filming this video, they're all pretty much at 100%, so they do charge pretty quickly. And um, this is a smart charger, so it picked up pretty quickly on what it needs to be charged at. And we're almost there at 100%. So one thing I do like to say is and point out is that this did auto detect that it is uh, Nikma batteries, as you can see right up here at the top. All right, so you can see on battery two that it turned green from this yellowish orange color. Now for me, I'm colorblind, so this is a really hard thing to see. So I'm gonna have to go off of, um, well, this is nice. It has a check mark that shows that it is complete. And, um, but as far as the colors over here, I wish it went from uh, like a dark red to blue or blue to green, some type of drastic color, but any type of like red and orange, orange and yellow, yellow and green, um, some of those on the LEDs are really hard for people that are colorblind for me to see, uh, but it did uh, sound a, a beep and it did put a check mark there to let you know that that one is complete. So uh, I do like that about this. So there's another plus. Uh, but I I do wish that the LED colors were different colors because it is a little too hard for me to distinguish. All right, so we got another check mark and that is gonna be for number four battery. And as you can see, the LED turned to green here. So we have two more to go. Let me put that on number two so that we can see the check mark pop up when it is complete. So while we're waiting for the other ones to charge, let me just show you another nice feature is they have this little pocket right here in the middle for your finger to get underneath and you're able to just pop that out very nicely. Uh, so now it shows that that battery is gone. And you also have these nice little finger holes on the sides. All right, looks like number three is complete along with number two. And our LED has changed color. So we can go ahead and pop these out. And we are down to our last battery. And I'll go ahead and just pop one of these into another slot just so you can see that it will recognize it. 
Okay. All right, and now our last one is complete. It is on auto. So in settings, you hold down your center button, and then here you have charge, discharge, analysis, and then we can go down to battery type, which does auto, or you can select the different type of batteries by scrolling through the menu. And we'll go ahead and keep it on auto because it will auto detect it, which is a very nice feature. And then we have activation charge disabled. And then here is your current amps. Your backlight, you can change that if you want medium, low, and we'll go back to high and we'll scroll down again. We have buzzer, you can change the, the loudness of the buzzer, we'll keep that on high. We want English and here, self-checking, you can see it's checking is okay, everything's good. So we're gonna hold down this button to get to our menu again. And we can click about, and this will let you know all the information. Here you can check all the different languages. If you prefer a different language, you can select those, and those will be all the different types of languages. And then you just click that button to put it into the one you want. The one thing I do wish it had was Fahrenheit, as in um, here in the USA, we use Fahrenheit and not Celsius, but that doesn't matter. So um, anyways, really like this charger. And to exit out of the menu, scroll all the way down to back. And there we have it. Anyways, I really like this battery charger. Uh, it's great, like I said, if you're going to run uh, rechargeables in your controller, if you're running Mini-Zs, um, as you see we got here, we got our PM batteries, and um, this is an excellent charger, uh, very small, compact, you know, here's my hand right here, it's pretty much the size of this battery charger, so it's very compact, easy to store in your bag to take to your Mini-Z track or with you to any other racing on 10th um, scale, 8th scale, 5th scale, anything else that you might be using batteries in your uh, controller or any other items. So everything that you get in the box is this really nice hard case box which you can actually keep this uh, to store it in. Uh, when transporting it, you have your USB cable. Here you have this very nice 3M double coated tissue tape. It's rubberized and then you have the charger itself very nice and compact you can go with the 16 or you can go with the 24 if you want to run even more batteries uh, but if you're running mini z this is a perfect size you can have the set in your car and you can have two sets charging with that you'll be able to have three packs of batteries uh, running as you're at your races so anyways uh, once again um, an excellent charger this is ISDT, the 8N smart charger, uh, automatically picks up the type of battery, everything that you need and displays everything as I showed you in the video. And like I said, it's got a very nice piano finish on the sides and that matte black plastic all around and uh, nice little LEDs here. most you do you guys work hard for your money same with me um so i like to keep my stuff nice and i always keep my original packaging and most of the time put it back in it so i'm gonna keep my cord in there i may keep the cord in my mini z soft case and then just leave the charger in here by itself um but like i said it's really good for transport and if you need to fall back on your instructions you have your instructions with you 
and now it is safe for travel in its case. And just to show you a quick little backing of the case itself, here we got the one side, N8 smart charger, here is your product code, and then here is your charger itself. Very nice product guys, and like I said, I will carry one of these in stock with me at my track. Um, which will be located in Himmet at Dynamic Hobbies. And uh, I will maybe also be looking for future sites. Uh, so far, this will be an outdoor track uh, that's portable. So um, if you guys have ideas where you want me to post up this track over in the IE, I can post it up. But anyways, um, great charger to have. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.